Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you're doing great. Today we're gonna do a simple uh, coding uh, program to basically uh, control uh, an LED by using Arduino. So we're gonna show you how you can do that. Uh, hey Mesh, what do you think if we make this car more interesting? I think we could have LED lights that flash on and off. Yeah, light. Yeah, that would be good. All right, let's see how we do it. Enter two times here. Also, we're using Arduino IDE as our programming software. So, INT, that's what we always use uh, to define our variables. And our variable name is going to be light equals so we, we, 13 bit. semicolon. So basically, that's not 13. 13 semicolon. So basically, what we're doing is we're saying this variable light equals 13. So if we type in light right here, the computer knows we're talking about the 13 pin. Yeah, so the, what Mejdi is saying, we're going to be using an Arduino. Uh, we have an Arduino uh, Mega, but you can use Arduino Uno. And there is a, a light emitting diode here, which is assigned pin 13. So we're going to be using this light to, to test our program. Okay, go ahead, Mejdi. Continue. So you did declare your variable variable merge, yeah. and you basically you, you named it light, yeah. and you assigned it to pin thirteen, and then uh, what we do in this setup here? So basically, what we got to do is hand mode. Yeah. So we're we going. There are two two modes, either uh, in all microcontrollers, either we have input or output. We either send in data. We're receiving data, like we send in data for like motors and lights, and then we're receiving data from sensors. So now we're gonna be a pin mode. Light. And then, okay, that's good. I think you missed something there, Mesh. Pin mode is a function, and function needs what? A pair parentheses. Parentheses, that's correct. Light. Out. This seems to be cap. I did it so long so I know what I'm doing. Okay, so, and then you do what? Semicolon. We always use semicolon when we're for statements. Okay, so so what Mesh now he did, he used a function called pin mode and he assigned this light that we created the variable here. Uh, initially we, we uh, declared a variable and uh, we uh, give it a value 13 and we wanted this variable to be uh, an output. So the pin number 13 is a, an output. That's good Mesh. Continue, okay. Mesh. So, now we have our pen mode. Basically, what we can do is we type digital right. So, whenever you have two words, the first word is lowercase, but the second one is capital. You see right here. Digital right, light, high. What this does is it tells the computer to turn, make the Arduino light and turn it off. And then what we end up the statement with, Mesh? A semicolon. We always have to do that. Okay, so, so what Mesh did, uh, so he assigned basically uh, a mode uh, to this variable light, okay? And we want this uh, uh, variable to basically be set up as an output, not an input, we, and we can because we want to turn the lights on. So we have to send voltage either on or off, okay? And here, so basically what we have, we're using another function, it's called digital write, and you notes that if you write it wrong, this is like keywords, you know? It's not gonna be turned red or orange, okay? So, and he said digital write, and he, he uh, mentioned the variable, and then uh, what we're we gonna do with this variable? So we want it to be high. That's good, Mesh. So continue. Okay. So after that, we're gonna there. We have our digital right right here. We have to put delay parentheses one thousand. There we go. Okay. What what is that one thousand, Mesh? Uh, one 
1,000, it's not 1,000 seconds, it's 1,000 milliseconds. Millisecond. Because 1,000 milliseconds is equivalent to one second. And then we end up in each statement with what? A semicolon. Semicolon, okay. So okay. We got, so let's just control C, control V to copy and paste it. And then we change this to low. So that way it tells it to turn it off after one second. And then in order to loop it, we have to put another delay. And you can just copy and paste also. Yeah. One. Okay, so, so what Mesh did here, he basically uh, used the uh, digital write function and he turned this uh, light, uh, which is a light emitting diode basically, high. And uh, because we, we are flashing this uh, LED. So he used uh, another function called delay and we wait one second be before we turn it off or low and then we we go again one second we wait I mean when did when we delay the microcontroller doesn't do anything so uh, it just stop everything okay and then this is since this is a loop it's going to repeatedly continue from once it reached the end uh, before this uh, uh, closed curly brackets it go back here again and it execute this code so it would be high low high no. Hey, Mesh, you want to verify your, your code, see if it works? Yes. So, to verify your code and make sure there's no errors, you have to press this check mark up here, verify. And the green tab, or the progress bar right here, just be patient. Okay? Good uh, job. So, it's it's good. The code is good. So Do you want to upload it now into uh, uh, Arduino? To Arduino? Yes. Okay. Arduino. So, uh, you want to do it, Mesh? Yes. You can show it to them. So we plug the uh, one end into Arduino, yeah. and the other end we're gonna plug it into our laptop. Yeah. We have to upload our code. Okay, before we upload the code, what do we have to do, Mitch? Oh yeah, we have to go to Tools. Make sure. Port. Make sure we are okay. We are in COM6, which is okay. good. Okay. Upload. What we're doing right now. We're uploading the code to our Arduino. Okay, so now the code is uploaded. Can you show them that the LED is flashing now? It's LED flashing on and off. Okay, so the LED is flashing means the code is good. So now we're gonna put this code into our project. Yeah. So the project, you wanna you wanna show them how the projects work? Okay, yeah. they, I know we created uh, we created the. A mobile app for the project yeah. and uh, let me just show them so the, the mobile app is here it's basically it's gonna scan it's use the Bluetooth and we're gonna scan Welcome. show them this one I click on this one start moving forward okay then we press stop and then we press right to make the wheels turn right okay that's good all right. Thank you, guys. Uh, we will see you next time. Well, thank you, guys, and we'll see you next time.